all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about the easy problem you can see over here the problem is basically we have to add two strings as the name suggests its index is 415 as i've already said it's an easy type problem okay so we will be given two non negative integers num1 and num2 being represented as a string and we have to return the sum of these two numbers and the output should be in a string format okay and uh, we have to uh, we have to be very much careful that we are not going to use any built in library functions for handling large integers okay what we are going to do is we are going to manually find out the sum in the string format and how we are going to do that let's try to understand this one so suppose what i am going to do is like uh, we have some string uh, being represented over here let's say 2 3 4 and five suppose this is one of the string uh, holding the any number and suppose we have another uh, string being represented like as suppose let's say 5 4 9 okay so if this is one of the numbers and this is another of the numbers so in general mathematics what we are going to do is we are going to put up these numbers like that and we are going to find out the sum starting from this rightmost number or you can say the rightmost digit okay then what you are going to do is let's understand the sequence of operation we are going to add these two digits 9 plus 5 14 okay then what we are going to do is we are going to pick up the last digit of this 14 which is basically 14 modulus 10 in programming language okay so in this case you are going to get the value as 4 okay and now initially you should also have to maintain the carry okay i will explain it out what is this new term so you are going to do, uh, perform this modulo operation then you are going to get the last digit and you are going to fill it over here okay and now the carry is going to be like we are going to uh, hold out some values and we are going to use that for the latter one like for the next case you can see because this number is like greater than 10 it will hold some carry value so our carry variable will going to be incremented by 14 divided by 10 okay so it should be incremented by 1 so it becomes 1 initially it was initialized as 0 okay so carry becomes 1 so in general you are what you are going to do 9 plus 5 14 then it comes out to be 4 and make uh, carry as 1 again you can you are going to say that 4 plus 4 is coming out to be 8 and you need uh, you are going to use this uh, value value is like carry so 4 plus 4 is 8 but carry is 1 so you are going to pick up this value so it becomes 9 so the digit that is being going to be filled over here in our answer is like 9 modulus 10 which is 9 and now our carry is going to be initialized with 9 divided by 10 which is 0 so now the carry becomes 0 and we have the digit 9 over here okay now we are going to do this one 3 and 5 so it becomes 8 and carry is 0 so the number is actually the 8 so i will write down the digit here as 8 modulus 10 it would become as 8 okay and the carry is going to be initialized by 8 by 10 and the integer value that i am going to take over this division so it is 0 okay now in the next case there is like empty value because the length of this string of digits is like less than this one so for the case of empty values we would treat it as 0 okay So 2 plus 0 is again 2, and we have the carry as 0, so it would be remain as 2. And to get the answer for here, 2 modulus 10 it would be 2, and carry would be like 0. Okay, because 2 by 10 integer value for this division is 0. So this is our answer. So if you sum up this value like 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5, 4, 9, you would actually get this value, and this is correct. Okay, so this is basically the way of doing. Uh, like sequentially using the help of digits in the similar case to the string we are going to do that okay so let's head over to the code to understand this one in a detailed manner okay so i have already submitted the code i don't know why i am getting wrong answer for the first time there was some small mistake okay so let me just okay so let me explain it over here so what i have done is like first i have reversed this string okay because the strings that would be given to us actually and uh, like uh, over this format and uh, we are going to start from the very uh, rightmost case and to simplify our code that's why i have reversed this one and also 
I would uh, ensure that uh, nums one dot length must be less than num two dot length because I need to append zeros to the back of it because in the case like uh, when one of the numbers has smaller length, I need to append zeros right to simplify or to ease our calculation. Now let's uh, start filling our answers. So initially, caddy is initialized as zero, and every time we are going to change this variable as uh, variable value also. Okay, so I trade for this uh, entire string length that is num one dot length, and find out the current value. You can see the current value is like uh, the digit current digit of num one and the current digit of num two plus caddy. And to get the current answer, like answer, what is the current answer at this position? It should be like a value mod 10 as I've already suggested, and the carry is going to be initialized with value divided by 10, the integer value. Okay, and I'm going to append my current answer. It should be like the character format of this C U R R that is going to be represented by this one. Okay, and lastly, if carry is some uh, positive integer like one, two, three, or something else, you need to append it to your answer also, and finally you are going to reverse the answer string and return it to your answer. This is your answer, and it will give you a 81 percent is faster code. Okay, so if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section of the video, and I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video, and to subscribe to YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.